The 2018 Subaru Forester blends crossover capability, the handling and ride of a car, and the year-round security of standard all-wheel drive. The compact utility wagon is practical, offers more off-road capability than you'd expect, and remains an excellent choice in a very competitive category. It won our Best Car to Buy 2014 award the year it launched, and it's Subaru's best-selling line. The four trim levels are Base, Premium, Limited, and Touring. We think the Forester is one of the segment's best all-round cars, with our assessment confirmed most recently by spending a few months with the turbocharged Forester 2.0 XT across a variety of terrains and driving cycles. Even in its fifth model year, it easily earns its rating of 6.8 out of 10. The Forester has a traditional, upright shape without the flourishes found in some crossovers. Inside, it's functional, and easy to understand. Subaru's improved the noise suppression in recent years, so it's quieter than before, and it's surprisingly spacious inside for its length especially for rear seat passengers. Two engines are available, a 2.5-liter flat 4 and a more powerful 2.0-liter turbo 4. Most will be fitted with Subaru's very good continuously variable transmission, although a manual gearbox can be ordered on base models. Handling is good for a crossover, and standard all-wheel drive makes driving even in bad weather confident and sure-footed. The 2018 Forester gets excellent ratings and is an IIHS top safety pick plus. Its forward collision warning system in particular works well, and it has acquired more capabilities in the last couple of model years. As utility vehicles get sleeker, swoopier, and more stylized, the Subaru Forester's restrained, handsome design is an old-school throwback. It's been kept up to date with projector headlights and LED taillights. The hood has character lines in the center and along the sides, but the chiseled front end is slightly let down by a profusion of details down low. The horizontal window line and relatively upright rear make the side view resemble a classic first-generation Ford Escape, updated for a new decade. Our only real quibble is that the 2.0 XT Turbo model has too many vents, grills, lights, and accents, including an aggressive air dam that brackets the front end like dewlaps. Inside the Forester, you'll know instinctively where the controls are and how to use them without needing to search through the manual. Matte and soft touch surfaces are accented with metallic trim in its own matte finish, marking improvement in Subaru's previously basic interiors. The tall, upright shape provides superb outward visibility, and we rate the Forester at 4 points out of 10. We dock at 1 point for the gimmicky 2.0 XT add-ons that mar an otherwise nice shape. It's far from stylish, but we think it hits the right balance between unobtrusive and functional. We give the Forester 6 out of 10 points in performance. Its car-like handling and standard AWD lift it above the average. Most Subaru Foresters come with a 170 horsepower, 2.5 liter flat 4 engine, though the 2.0 XT has a 2.0 liter turbo 4 rated at a substantial 250 horsepower. Low-end models come with a 6-speed manual gearbox, though the CVT is your only choice as you move up to higher trim levels or up for the 2.0 XT Turbo. That model lets drivers make the Forester behave as though it has a conventional 6 or 8-speed automatic, with shift paddles that produce quick, if simulated, gear changes, using the drive modes provided by the SI drive system. For a utility vehicle, the Forester's car-like handling is far sportier than anything from Honda, Nissan, or Toyota. For a tall vehicle, body roll is minimal, the steering feels nicely weighted, and Subaru has engineered the best continuously variable transmissions we know of. 
a full 8.7 inches of ground clearance and standard all-wheel drive will make drivers as confident about off-road use or bad weather as they are in paved suburbia. For additional off-road capability, Subaru offers an X mode that distributes power left to right at low speeds, supplementing the standard front-to-back distribution. It lets Subaru's utility wagon cope with hills normally limited to competitors from Jeep and Land Rover. The Forester can tow up to 1,500 pounds with either engine, though you're more likely to see it with one of many specialized carriers for boats, skis, or sports gear on the roof. Gas mileage is good, though that's a continuously rising bar and it's no longer the best. The 2018 Subaru Forester offers a pleasantly high driving position, lots of front elbow room, and a dashboard far enough away to make the interior feel spacious. The upright ship and low window line make the interior airy and light and give excellent outward visibility. We rate the Forester's quality and comfort at 7 out of 10 giving it extra points for rear seat room and flexibility and the optional one-touch folding rear seat. Taller drivers may find the short, flat bottom cushions of the front seats to lack bolstering, and they may find themselves continually in contact with the center console and door panels in places that lack soft surfaces. Rear seat room is ample, with almost 40 inches of headroom, without the sunroof and a low drive shaft tunnel. All but the base model offer a rare and welcome three-position reclining feature for the 60-40th split rear seat backs. The squared-off shape offers generous cargo space, and there's no steeply rigged tailgate to conflict with large boxes. The Forester has 34.4 cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats, and 74.7 .7 cubic feet when the second row seats are folded down. Subaru has designed a clever one-button mechanism to fold the seat back fully flat, though it's optional except on the top touring version. Noise suppression is good, with more sound deadening added last year, as well as an acoustic windshield, thicker window glass, and better door seals. This helps address a chronic Subaru weak point and makes the car much more pleasant for longer trips. Subaru is known more and more for safety, almost as if it stole the mass-market image of Volvo, which is now purely in the premium category. The IIHS rates the Forester a top safety pick plus for its good ratings on all crash tests, and it gets 5 stars overall from the NHTSA. All Foresters included a rear-view camera as standard equipment. This year, all limited and touring models now come with blind spot monitors and rear cross-traffic alerts. Those features are also added to premium models ordered with Subaru's EyeSight system. Subaru's excellent EyeSight camera system, in fact, is a highlight among active safety systems. It uses a pair of cameras to identify road hazards ahead so the car can brake to avoid a crash or reduce its impact. EyeSight, standard on touring models, also provides optional adaptive cruise control. Last year the EyeSight system got color cameras for a wider, long field of vision. This year it adds automatic headlights and automatic reverse braking as standard. For its excellent crash safety ratings, the top safety pick plus designation, the excellent and continually updated EyeSight system, and top of the class outward visibility, we rate the Forester 9 out of 10 for safety. A pair of 4 star ratings on specific NHTSA crash tests, in fact, are the only things standing between the car and a perfect score. The 2018 Subaru Forester wins extra points for having a stripped-down, manual gearbox model that's a relatively bargain at the low end, and a wide variety of upscale features at the top end. The Forester Touring shouldn't be mistaken for a luxury crossover, but the entire range represents good value for the money, and we rate it this year at 8 out of 10 points. The 2018 Subaru Forester can be ordered as a 2.5i model with base, premium, 
Limited, and Touring Trim Levels, for a 2.0 XT Performance Model in Limited and Touring Versions only. Prices start just over $23,000 and go as high as $35,000. All versions have Bluetooth pairing, steering wheel controls for the audio system, a 6.2-inch touchscreen for basic infotainment functions, and a rear-view camera as standard. Base models will be relatively rare, but the 2.5i premium version hits the sweet spot in the crossover market. It adds a 10-way adjustable power driver's seat, reclining rear seat backs, a panoramic power moonroof, 17-inch alloy wheels, and a 7.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system. The 6-speed manual gearbox is offered only on base and premium models. The latter also gets the all-weather package, which includes heated front seats and side mirrors, plus a windshield wiper de-icer. If you order the manual, it's optional on the more common CVT models. Adding the turbo engine to make it a 2.0 XT, the premium trim includes larger brakes, a sport-tuned suspension, a leather-wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, a rear spoiler, 18-inch wheels, the all-weather package, and the X-Mode for the all-wheel drive system. Limited models bundle in the CVT and X-Mode along with perforated leather trim on the seats, the leather-wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, automatic climate control, fog lights, the all-weather package, a 7.0-inch touchscreen, and a power liftgate. Some features can be added as individual options on premium models as well. Top-of-the-line Forester Touring versions, however, are the only ones with a 440-watt premium audio system and 8 speakers, the excellent one-touch folding rear seat back, dual-zone automatic climate control, keyless ignition, a heated steering wheel, and HID headlights with automatic height adjustment. The 2.0 XT Touring also has torque vectoring. We rate the 2018 Subaru Forester at 7 out of 10 points for its fuel economy. The most fuel-efficient version of the 2018 Subaru Forester is by far the most common, with the base 2.5-liter flat-four engine and continuously variable transmission. It's rated at 26 mpg city, 32 highway, and a laudable 28 mpg combined. Step down to the same engine with the 6-speed manual gearbox, however, and the EPA ratings plummet to 22 city. 28 Highway, 24 combined worse even than the faster and sportier 2.0 XT model, with its Turbo 4, at 23-27-25 mpg.